All right, so here's a video I've been wanting to shoot for a while, just haven't had gotten time to shoot a video on this, but I wanna add this video to my invasive species playlist because this is a very invasive type of grass. This is known as Japanese stilt weed, I believe, or Japanese stilt grass or Japanese stilt weed. And it's a pretty invasive plant. Now, I'll try to get you up close And show you a little bit better what it looks like it's probably would have been much easier if I had done this video when it was smaller but I wanted to show it to you when it was in bloom so if you see this kind of grass growing around your your property you at least you'll know what it is and how to deal with it and here's what the top looks like the crown or the bud and basically this is what it looks like this is the leaf All right, here's a better look at the leaf. And you can kind of see, you know, when it's growing, I'll try to find a small plant here for you. So you can see it's regular development. You can see it's a, a long, it's a blade of, you know, it's like a leaf here and then a, a long part of the, the, the grass and then another leaf. They spread out, but when they're smaller, their leaves are much closer together. These, the nodes spread out as the plant gets bigger. Here's a couple that are a little smaller, but not quite as small as I would have wanted it. And really the best way I find to deal with this is if you mow your lawn on a regular basis, you won't have a problem. It's the areas of your lawn that don't get mowed is when you're gonna see this really get out of control. So, again, it's really kind of hard to show you the, the plant in its entirety other than, you know, just showing it to you from back here. But just to show you what it looks like, try to pull a whole one out here to give you an idea what it looks like. So you can kind of see how it grows. It kind of grows up like a stem like that. And then it comes all the way up, and then there's the seed pod at the top. But again, it it spreads out between the nodes as it gets bigger, and it could branch off as well. So you may see some branching uh, at the nodes, and another stem will come up from it. But not as often, but it does do that. In fact, here, right here, you can see it's stemmed off over here. So this plant can be pretty severe of a problem on your property if you don't control it it'll crowd out all the other grasses and you know it could just be a problem it's kind of a long weed thin so it's not a good grass cover if you cut it short so it's long thin and it's it just spreads everywhere so this year i will be pulling this stuff out as best i could and hopefully next year uh, i can eradicate it completely from this area because I just don't want it grown. I mean, in some ways, it might look nice if you grew it a certain way, maybe ornamentally, but realistic, you know, it, you just don't want this on your property because it's, it's one of those things that can just literally take over your yard. And um, it's really hard to get rid of once it's really established. So just wanted to bring you aware that I, I will put the correct name and the botanical name and the title and description and that way you can see what it is. But, you know, it's really hard to give you a really good image as to what it looks like. Because right now it just kind of looks like regular, you know, weed grass. You know, it doesn't really look like anything. But when it's smaller, it has a very distinctive growing profile that very you can identify it very easily. So just figured I would show you that, share that with you. And um, if you have any experience with Japanese stilt grass, comment below. Let's hear your stories on it and how you dealt with it. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.